I mean, I'm, I'm personally a big advocate of in the big, big decisions in a game that you go to an official, a video official. A not video a, official. Not a VAR, not yeah, a VAR yeah, team, okay, yeah. but right? And, le- and leave it to managers, right? An idea is leave, leave it to the managers, almost like an NFL challenge. type thing. You get a challenge. If your challenge is accepted and it's, it, it's, uh, it's right, correct, get your challenge back. If it's not accepted, you know, there has to be a punishment. Maybe lose a sub, something like that. Okay, yeah. But I just think, you know, just from watching NFL, the managers, they make their challenge, but they're not making it unless they're fairly right. And, you know, there was incidents, I take the semi-finals last year in both games, where managers would have felt entitled to make their challenge. Yeah. Take, take 30 seconds and all this. Everybody has this argument about slowing down the game, slowing mm. down the game. What about the lad who's after training for nine months? Give him 45 seconds. Give someone 45 seconds to say it's right or wrong. Yeah. That's my opinion. People will agree or disagree, but I think, you know, maybe... Maybe it's worth it's worth technology's there. That's what I'm saying. I really do think the rules of hurling are, are in a good place. Uh, maybe a few small tweaks here and there. I don't think there's anything radically needed, uh, like the black card. I know the black card came in on, on the back of some of the stuff that was going on in football with tripping and pulling lads down, going through and denying scoring opportunities. We don't have that problem in hurling. You look at the game. I will now. Well, if you look at the game of hurling at the minute, look at the scores at the high yeah, scoring. Yeah. I don't see lads going through one on one and being pulled down. You look at Niall Lamar's goal in the All Ireland final, got in around the Kilkenny defender. That that they generally yeah. it, it's so hard because in football you've two free hands. It's a clear opportunity to, to like a rugby tackle. Yeah. In hurling, one hand isn't going to pull down a lad that's that's you know run with run with serious speed and uh, the muscle mass that these players have now. One hand isn't going to cut it. Um, so it's it's not very evident. So on that basis, I, I don't see any need for the black card to come into the game of hurling. And is there any rule changes you would make? Just I mentioned a couple of small things there. Yeah, I I I, I, I like the sideline cut um, getting two points. I really like that that rule. Um, I, I obviously it encourages a lot of lads to take them on, um, and there's an element of them going wide and kind of can deflate the, the crowd. But there's nothing as, as glorious as watching a, a TJ Reid, a Joe Canning. Uh, a bubbles or the wire putting a sideline down hitting over the bar and, and I think that kind of skill and that is really high level elite skill being rewarded maybe two points uh, roll it out for the league and see how it goes again so I, I always like that a man that wasn't able to hit a sideline um, I, I probably shouldn't be encouraging it but uh, I just think it's it's a fantastic skill um, outside of that I, I don't really see a huge need for, for a whole lot more